All right, all right, ladies, gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, we're back. Let's go speak to the go governor of Kutaleme. Oh, wow, they really cleared out the forests around here. And yet they ref refused to remove the stumps. Now let's go around, collect some of these crafting supplies. They even got the road paved, and I don't think Hickman even had that. Just buying sheep all over the place. Halt! In the name of the Enlightened One, present yourself. Lady de Sade, emissary of the Congregation of Merchants on Tier for D. I have come to present my regards to your governor. We have been expecting your visit, Your Excellency. Welcome. May he light your way. Yeah, 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 God, religion, whatever. Nice wide sh uh, city streets, though. Is this our residence already? Thank you. It's good to know that's like right at the gates of the city. May the enlightened always keep you in his divine blessing. Excuse me, let me take this. Let me just go right over here, check out what they've got. Welcome to the best holy item shop in San Mateus. Right, uh, sell, let me sell. I know there was one thing I wanted to sell. Uh, you know, I might keep that. Oh shit, I meant to I meant to switch to purchase. Don't hesitate to have a rabbit. Sorry. Hmm. Is that better than our current one? What is it? Advanced view. It's 258. Okay. We got the deacon worse than what we've got right now. Goodbye. May the oh. enlightened all Let's uh Oh good. It's replaced. Dup. Sell. Sell that for sure. Okay, so nothing good for the hats. I got full plate armor. Healing. That, that all costs a lot. So what does that do? Does that heal me? Yeah, it does. Priest cape. Goodbye. Lovely. May the enlightened always keep you. Oh my god. They captured one? Now 
amongst your gods. Answer me. Why? Why are you doing this? Behold your so-called gods. You are demons. They burn. They are nothing. You shed tears for this creature while your heart should be full of joy. Welcoming the light. Forget your pagan foul teachings. Embrace the true faith. You are mad. Inquisitor. You! Stop where you are. The pagan stink of these soulless natives taints you. You bring demon-spawned barbarians through our gates. <sighs> This man just killed some helpless soul in front of our eyes, and he calls us barbarians. Who are you to address me with such familiarity? I am the Inquisitor Aloysius, and you will be going nowhere lest your answers give me satisfaction. Oh, Do fuck you off. believe that the God of Light is the one and only God? Don't tell me that you are going to humor this crazed assassin. If I want to complete my mission, I believe I have no other choice. Diplomacy may seem to you of little import, but I doubt that your governor will be of a similar opinion. Aggression towards an emissary of another nation is an error that could lead to war. You cannot hide from the divinity behind politics. But very well, I leave you in divine hands this time. I shall allow you to continue along your path. I am certain ours will cross again. And be aware that wheresoever you wander, you shall be weighed, measured, and judged. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah. I'm glad it didn't come to bloodshed, because I was about to kill you right in the middle of this square. In we go. I wish I'd been given an excuse to put this madman to the. But you did I know, well. right? Congratulations. You are already a great diplomat. It seems I try to my me best. you're being sarcastic. Me? My apologies, my lady. It wasn't my intention. <laughs> he did sound really sarcastic, but he, he meant it sincerely. Young lady, pardon me, are you not part of the new governor's entourage? I'm his cousin, and I'm accompanying him on his mission to Tirfredi. What can I do for you, father? Bishop Petrus, how divinely fortunate this is. Did you know that I had the honor of meeting you at your uncle's court when you were a child? I would never have imagined that you would grow up to resemble the island natives so closely. The island was yet to be discovered. How could you have known? <laughs> you haven't lost your clever little tongue. You were always quite a remarkable young girl. I'm on my way to New Serene as an ambassador to the new governor. Do you think there would be room for me to accompany you? The roads are not truly safe. I must sure. first meet the Mother Cardinal to present my respects on behalf of my cousin. I will accompany you. And then we can take the road together. I'm so happy our paths have crossed once again. Okay, well. Old friends, new locations. Excuse me, Kurt. 
prayer room. It's gonna be all about religion, ain't it? And a tremendously dangerous amount of candles. I do like the cape, though. I appreciate the cape. Oh, all three of them are following me now. Oh my god. Bishop Petrus is just wandering around with me wondering like, why the hell is she stealing everything in the palace? And why am I allowing her to steal everything in the palace? Excuse me, sir. I need to go raid your attic very quickly. That sounds sexual. I'm I'm never gonna say that again. <laughs> oh. Okay. No ladder. Alright, in to meet the governor. Your eminence, in the name of the congregation of merchants. I present my best regards. May the light bless you and accompany you on these grounds with inspired guidance. I thank you. We truly wish that this visit will strengthen the ties between our two nations. I learned that you crossed paths with that of Inquisitor Aloysius. I beseech you to forgive his zealous nature. His faith is absolute, and I congratulate you to have appeased him. Your faith and your diplomatic skills honor you. Another subject brings me as well. The Malachor. The horrible blood plague decimating our peoples. A terrible matter that worries us all and reveals our imperfections and sinful nature. For he would never have allowed such an evil to spread without a deeper reason, a fault. Our theologians are certain that the Malachor is the work of a curse. And we have discovered that this island is home to a cult that venerates willfully a horrifying demon. A demon? An evil spirit? It's very strange. Oh, I know no clan that worships this sort of troubled spirit. We must unearth this cult and tear it out by its sinister, sinful roots. We started to investigate a village not far from here where strange happenings have been reported. I have begun investigations, and I confirm that a demon is certainly active in the area. Alas, the population is very secretive, and we have great difficulty gleaning any useful information. But if the congregation would help us in this matter, in other words, if the Malachor troubles your cousin as much as myself, report to his majesty that the destruction of this pagan cult is the only way to eradicate the plague, and his help in obtaining any information from the natives would be extremely welcomed. Be certain that your message will be transmitted, Mother Cardinal. I look forward to our next encounter. Okay. Uh, do I need to bring Petrus with me, or...? Con oh, talk to Constantine, okay. Well, I severely doubt any demon is involved. Just religious nonsense. I do like the wallpaper, though. I really like the wallpaper. Um, but I'm sure we'll figure it out eventually. Right, we can go to our quarters and fast travel straight. It just... It just burned to death. When they finally, they moved the native body as well. But let's go back to our quarters and fast travel to Constantine. Oh, what's this? Uh, a group of natives came by the embassy to and asked to see you. As they could not find you, they asked me to uh, give you the location of a forest where they hope they will meet you. Uh, uh, they hope you will meet them. 
if uh, I may, that he seemed relatively agitated, aggressive, so be careful respectfully. Uh, there's no, who signed this? Uh, Inquisition. Okay. Let's actually kind of go around for a second. What is that? The tavern? That's the tavern, ain't it? Yep. Right. Nah, let's just go back. Oh, hello. I'm sure we'll have plenty of time to explore the city and loot all the crates around. Where are these natives at? Down that way? Seems about right here. Is there not a road? Good day. There, there is no road, but we can traipse through the wheat. Up here. Okay, must be up that cliff. Ah, no, I didn't get it. Damn it. Oh, well. Alright, so... What, up, up this way? No. Down here? Damn it! Back here! Here they are! Where's... Please, I come because of a message that was sent to me. Wait! This is the Onol Menawi of the Lugay de Blau. The one we wanted to talk to. I came following the instructions you had left the secretary of our embassy. But I wasn't expecting to find you near the corpse of a member of the Ordo Luminous. We were told that there was a woman different from the other Elixir amongst the Lugay and Blau. Someone who sometimes helped our people. This is why we talked to the man in the large house. But we don't really know who you are. My name is Desade. I'm the legate of the congregation. It means that I'm in charge of the diplomacy with the other nations. And yes, I have helped your people a few times. A diplomat is someone who talks, right? Not someone who fights. <laughs> Little I both. know how to fend for myself, if that's your question. But will you tell me why you made me come here? Two nights ago, we attacked a group of Red Sons who were taking away some of our people. Many of them fled. But we captured this man, and we made him talk. We wanted to know where they took our brothers. And he talked about a secret camp. Why would the Inquisition take natives to a secret camp? To confuse their minds. They torture them until they renounce the truth and praise the sun. This red sun was mocking us. He said they would burn us like the others. He had killed some of my brothers, so I killed him. If what you say is true, then indeed, we cannot let the Inquisitors continue. But because you killed them, we can only take your word for it. Maybe not. The Red Sun had a key on him, and also some words sealed in bark. We do not know how to set them free, but the Renaikse do, don't they? The letter ordered this man to join the escort party of a group of captives. This partly confirms what you told me. Do the words say where the camp is located? No, but the address of the Inquisitor is written. What is an address? This is how we refer to the place we live in. 
I suppose the key you found is the key to his door. So you can go to his house and look for more words? I suppose so. You must do it, or the suns will keep burning our people. Very well. I will go visit this man's home. I will come back to you if I learn anything more. Hurry. Our brothers may be dying in the meantime. Okay, let's uh, let's see what we can do. Go back to town. Search the house of Inquisitor Claudius. Does he we have anything to know else? Where on? they no. are taking our brothers? Down we go. Back into the city, doing a little bit of espionage work. Yeet. And see, just like I thought, we're exploring the city. Even though I do hate, and I, and I get it, because it's a double-A game, and it's not, uh, they didn't have that giant type of budget for things like this, uh, but I do hate how the cities aren't as big as they look, and you can only explore certain parts of it. So it's this way. Past the merchant. Into this dark alley. Harbor Street. Where exactly are we going? Oh, just around the corner. So around here. Oh, nope. Uh, use key. If other sons come here, they'll burn me. Uh oh. All right, I wanted to congratulate you for your work in unwa and unwavering commitment to our conversion camp. Project, thanks to you and your devotion, we were able to bring many savages towards the light. Uh, you will find some new elements and orders regarding their uh, continuation of uh, of our operation in your the, your chest at our headquarters. May the enlighten protect you, Inquisitor Honors. This letter mentions a secret camp. Apparently, our man was involved in its creation. It also talks about a chest he would have had. In the quarters of the Order, here in San Mateus, we may find clues there that will allow us to discover the location of the camp. The key we found must open this chest. Let's leave. Let's go and see what it contains. It's a key. Most likely the key to a chest. Oh, with shit. the emblem of the Ordo Luminous. I don't think we'll... Hey, you. Who are you? And what are you doing in Father Claudius's home? De Sardé. I'm the legate of the congregation. My colleague has been away for the last few days. May I know exactly what it is about your status as a diplomat that gives you the right to enter his home in his absence? My status is the reason why the Mother Cardinal asked me to investigate. She wants to know where Father Claudius might have disappeared to. I offered to go to his home to see if I could find some information. Hence why I'm here. Really? Well, I find that very strange. Why would the Mother Cardinal ask that some strangers who do not belong to our order try to find him? How would we know? Perhaps you'd like us to go find her together. I'm sure she'll be delighted to see how you've been treating the representative of one of her allies. That won't be necessary, but know that I am keeping an eye on you. Sure, definitely. You go wish. away, please. I hope I don't see you again, Father. I doubt this sly, bitter man believed your lies. Yeah, we yeah we'll probably see him again. Of respite to go visit the quarters of the order and find the chest there. Let's hope they aren't infested with members of the Inquisition. Well, I don't think the Mother Cardinal would ex uh, would appreciate if we went on a slaughter spree in her city, so I hope not.
And then in here. Oh, we found the right chest immediately. Okay. Thanks to these documents, we'll be able to show the natives where the conversion camp is, and the times when new prisoner convoys will get there too. The Ordo Luminous is fearsome in a fight. If the natives attack the camp, they risk being slaughtered. But given the methods of the Inquisitors, I almost want to give them a hand. Yeah, we might, we might help them out. If nobody lives to tell the tale, nobody's gonna be able to report that we did it. I wanna, I wanna look around here first. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the fire. Anything? Then the loot. Anything in here? Oh my god. This is a torture room. We're just gonna turn right back around and get out of here. All right, let's go speak to the natives. Oh, excuse me. Excuse me, madam. <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez. I am never going to get used to all that buying. Tell the natives of your discoveries. It's this way, I think. You! Get back here! God damn it! Thank you! All I wanted was your skin. Hey guys. Did you discover an Yep. I found some information that should allow you to locate the conversion camp. And I also found a note about a prisoner convoy coming soon. Why come and tell us all of this if your intention is just to betray us? Betray you? How so? You're not the ones this so-called legate betrayed. We are. You? I have no commitment to your order. It is with Teleme that we are allied. Your nation, that you are prepared to drag into a war against the natives, with the sole purpose of converting a few of them in your torture camp, even if you have to kill all the others. What are you talking about? Are you saying Claudius managed to complete his great conversion camp project? Don't yes. pretend that you did not know. I did not, but now that I do, I will do everything in my power to continue his work. And the first step will be to eliminate those who would denounce us. The Mother Cardinal focuses too much on politics, when she should be following her faith instead. We will fight these monsters by your side, Onol Menawi. Thank you. Faith does not mean that you're willing to torture people to death for conversion. to thank me. These men were our enemy. The monsters torturing my people. Even though the Ordo Luminous's actions are atrocious, Teleme must not learn of our involvement in this matter. Our alliance could suffer. Do not worry about it. We won't tell them. And we will make these bodies disappear. Nobody will ever know what happened to them. Except for our Mal, of course. 
Queen Derdra will be grateful to you for helping us. I hope this will help our relations in the future. In any case, do not worry about this camp. She will not let our people be imprisoned. She may even ask for your help in destroying it. Perhaps. In the meantime, please give her my regards. Bartir to mad on all Minawi. Okay. And thanks again. Not a problem. It was the right thing to do. Did you leave the corpses for me to loot? No, you didn't. Okay. <laughs> Now all we have to do is talk to Constantine, correct? Yep. And it makes more sense to just, uh, go back into town and fast travel from our home. Oh my god, why can't I take that? Although we could explore around a bit. Maybe on a day that I don't have to go to work. <laughs> Residence to residence. Okay. Merchant camps. Wonderful. Oh my god. It's huge. Oh, those are rings that are doing that. Okay. Rifles. Still need accuracy. Ooh. Do I? Am I wearing one of those? Yes. That's what I thought. Right, any good armor? Ooh, that's got a... It's got a new what a, not a chess piece that's what I was looking for all right let's do that because I still can't craft much yet that's also a little bit armored Constantine, my dearest cousin. We must have words. Cousin, you have returned to me. Your absence was sorely felt. You don't appear to be in top four. Are house intrigues keeping you from finding proper sleep? No, nothing to bring me nightmares as of yet. I'm blaming it on the change of diet. Now, tell me what adventures you've been up to. If you only knew how bored I grow behind these walls. I would like, if you would allow me the honor, to introduce Bishop Petrus, emissary of Teleme. Your Highness, may the light warm you in its holy embrace. Enchanted to meet you, my father. I've come here to present respects from Teleme and best wishes from the Mother Cardinal. 
She has my most sincere thanks. But before speaking further, I would like to discuss matters with my cousin, if you would be so kind. Okay, so let's go with the encounters. I have been to the neighboring cities, as you asked of me. Tell me then, was your journey adventurous? Well, I was able to gain audience with the governors, give them your regards, and glean some information. I would not have allowed anything bad to happen to him, your highness. Oh, it's just us here, Kurt. Why not continue to call me by my given name? Carry on with your story, cousin. I'm patient to know what secrets our illustrious neighbors have discovered. The Bridge Alliance believes that a remedy could possibly be found by studying the local flora. They are quite motivated, but their research expedition has gone missing, and there is no sign of life. And since they themselves are under constant attack, they cannot spare a rescue party to investigate. The Mother Cardinal, in her opinion, believes the Malachor to be the result of a curse. A curse cast by a demon. An evil creature worshipped by a cult of island natives. If you would allow me to second the request of our Mother Cardinal, we are in dire need of your help. Our Inquisitors are hardly diplomats and... But I should let you finish, my daughter. They have started their investigations in a village where strange events have been taking place, but they are unable to get to the bottom of it. The population keeps its secrets, and Teleme hopes that we might help them learn more about the cult. This is all extremely interesting. You have lived up to my expectations, as always. That said, we find ourselves between the rock and the hard place. The bridge is already in open conflict with the island natives. Teleme and their inquisitors. <sighs> We're going to have to tread on eggshells, but let's follow all the clues to their mysteries. We need to help them continue their investigations. Perhaps one will lead us to something useful. I don't have a lot of men, as well you know, and since I only trust you among them, take Kurt and any others that seem useful. I wouldn't want anything bad to happen to you. If you would allow me, Your Highness, I would be honored to assist your cousin on her investigation. Very well, then. You could start by indicating the precise location of your nasty village. Of course, Your Highness. I should have thought of that sooner. Allow me to mark the location on your map my daughter. Thank you. Have no fear, Constantin. I will take care of all matters at hand. Anything else? Uh, no, not really, although I can ask him some questions, cause, so let's, uh, let's see. Are you liking your new role as a governor? How does it feel? <sighs> Honestly, once the thrill of the first few days is over, it's boring. <laughs> I receive delegations from everywhere. They arrive with their arms full of presents to make me sign some agreements. Most of them take me for a fool, who will be easily convinced by some silver trinket. I would love to simply brush them all off and work on some real projects. Oh, I have what? so many ideas to make this city, this island, truly amazing. I mean, you are the governor, and you're the son of the merchant prince back home, so you might as well just do it. <laughs> How are relations with our allies? Oh, they bow and scrape, and they regularly assure me of their unwavering friendship, so that they can better try to convince me to embrace their point of view, and only theirs. Teleme wants to convert me, and the Alliance assures me that only they will allow us to benefit from progress. They're a bunch of old foxes, but they take me for a young, brainless rabbit. The only thing they really want is to increase their influence on this island with our help yeah i can see that any news of your parents no with the time it takes to travel to the continent it's not surprising but i don't miss them my father's next letter will certainly be full of his usual disdain as for my mother you know her she's probably too busy planning her next assassination to have noticed my absence oof okay Sorry I asked. See you, Constantine. Now. Goodbye, Constantine. Look out for yourself. Very sorry I asked. Alright, so let's look at our mission log. Oh, wait. I got stuff I can... So oh, I can't... Where are these yet? Shit.
So we're gonna keep the priest cape. All right. Um, where is there? Okay. So battle of the red spears, demonic cult. Uh, find the scholars' expedition camp. Side quest. I got side quest. Uh, what is an aspiring merchant? Oh, Mu Ulan. Okay. And the arena. Let's go meet Ulan right quick. You know, have a little fun. Uh, I think this is a way to exit the city as well. But let, let's actually check the map instead of being stupid. Right, so we can just kind of work our way around and run straight out. We're going to probably need to travel on foot there, I think. Since we haven't been there yet. Hey, I'm at the tavern slash barracks. Am I going to get attacked again? There, down there, that way. There's the gate. Yeah, and these caravans only go through the major cities. Or you know, to let the game design tell it the only cities. So we're gonna just hoof it on foot. Yeah. Thank you. I require your meat and feathers. Is it right here? 12 hours. 12 in game hours. <laughs> oh, they, people want to talk. Desarde. Vasco? Oh no. I have a favor to ask. Very okay. Well. I'm listening. Do you remember the story of Jonah? Of course. Well,. I'm like him, a donation to the sea. My family also gave me to the Norts. I don't know anything about my real family, except that they are probably affluent and from the congregation. When I was born, the Norts and the merchant princes had a complex relationship. I must have been used to settle a debt or forge a truce, but that doesn't matter. Okay. The mystery of my origins has now become an obsession. I need to know where I come from. If I were patient enough, I'd wait to become a fleet commander, and then I would be told. But since being laid off, such a promotion seems somewhat improbable. And you want me to help you find this information? You understand correctly. The records of all seamen stationed on the island are in their respective ports. Mine must be in the harbor office in New Serene, and it must contain my family name. But if I go there, I'd be spotted right away. Could you go there and bring the file to me? Sure. I'll take care of it now. Of course. But you'll have to come with me to the port and tell me a little more. Right. Also, I don't want any Norts to be hurt in the process. Despite my desire to know my origins, the Norts are still my family. That's don't cool. Worry. I get a disguise. We'll be discreet. Okay. I don't know if this is going to spit me back out at New Serene, or... No, but we can just go back home. I 
I'll talk to you in a bit, Petrus. Calm down. Here we are. We have a good view from here. The harbor office is well guarded, both outside and inside. Getting through the main <coughs> entrance is impossible. There must be a blind spot. There's always one. You could dress as a knot and go through the back door, but someone may recognize you inside. I'll need to be much more discreet. A potion could help me. That is an option, yes. But since I'd rather avoid hurting any knots, I made some inquiries. The harbor office has an arrangement with Dieter from the brothel. Girls come every night with wine. Oh. I see. You want us to spike the wine so that they sleep during our search? It's a proven <laughs> technique. And I can assure you, they do not sniff the wine before drinking it. Right. Let's get a sleeping potion. Then we'll go see Dita. Okay, we'll do that. But we'll actually do that. <coughs> Excuse me when we return. So I thank so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, Citizen of the Empire. If you enjoyed and you're on YouTube, like, comment, subscribe. On Twitch, drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.